Welcome to the day 13, how to receive daily guidance in your life and your business. I will start with telling you a story. In the first year of my business, I recreated the same schedule that I had in my 9 to 5. So I would have like Monday, I would do posts for Instagram, Tuesday, I would create for Pinterest, um, affirmations and nice visuals. Wednesday, I would do videos for YouTube and so on. And I would wake up in the morning, I would work for eight, nine hours. And you know, I would have exactly like a corporate business in a way. What this led to was for me to feel disconnected from my business, to follow a masculine structure that wasn't rooted into my feminine energy, that was disconnected from who I truly am. And I, I wasn't creative, I didn't have the inspiration, and I didn't have clients or results or money coming in. So what I discovered is that we uh, become the creator of our reality when we co-create with the universe. So by us taking time every day to, you know, set up some intentions for the day ahead, but also ask for some guidance from the universe because we are not in this alone. We are not in here in this life to repeat the same cycles, to recreate the same stories, to do the same thing every day. We are here to follow our soul's mission to uncover our life path and how can we do that by asking the universe to support us in our journey i know that you know each one of us has um, something that they work on in their life and they they need um, guidance on like some of us need career advice others work on relationship and they know they want to know how to find their soulmate partner Others want to know how to make money and for each question that we have, we can co-create with the universe and receive its guidance and support. So how can you do that? How can you ask for daily guidance in your life and in your career and in your relationships? The way that I do that is that every Monday morning, I have three oracle cards and every Monday morning, and every Monday sorry and every Monday morning I pull a card from each deck based on every area of my life so I pull a card for my relationship a card for my business and a card for um, abundance and I you know use the tarot decks to you know close my eyes ask what uh, aligned action can I take this week for my business? What aligned action can I take this week to make more money? What aligned action can I take to uh, create a deeper relationship and a deeper connection with my partner? And I, you know, based on the cards that I receive, I, you know, implement that action into my life. Other ways that if you don't, own a tarot deck and you are not into pulling cards that totally fine other things that you can do is that you can ask for signs like you can ask the universe for, for a specific question like universe do i need to quit this job or is this job for me or is this new path that i desire to create for me Give me a sign this week to, you know, help me with taking a decision for this. And you can ask for a specific sign. Like, I remember that for me, um, like a sign, a, a, a huge sign for me is seeing a convertible. I don't know why, but for me, like, there are not a lot of convertible cars in Romania. So when I see one on the street, I see, oh, okay, that is a sign for me that I am on my path or that my manifestations are coming to me. Or, you know, you can ask for numeric signs like seeing 111 or if you have a favorite number for my, my example, for me, I always see 222 because 2 is my date of birth. So uh, it's my day of birth. So it's really significant for me. You can ask for a specific sign like universe. Show me this week the number 222 if I should, you know, date 
with this guy or if this person is uh, a great partner for me or if I should end this relationship. And tune into, have your awareness throughout the week with you to tune into what signs do you receive? When do you receive them? What are you doing in that moment? How often do you receive them? And take a note of them in your phone or in your journal to keep track of the signs you're receiving. Another sign can be seeing feathers on the ground. This is also like uh, like some, in a way, a sign from your guardian angel that he's there or she's there with you, guarding you. So there are a lot of signs. You can choose one that's specific for you or you can choose, you know, a general sign. Another, um, you know, activity that you can do to ask for daily guidance in your life and in your business is to just sit a few moments with yourself and meditate, you know, in the morning. And just, you know, scanning your body, tuning into your body, see what do you feel, how do you feel, what do you think in that day. And just, you know, ask for guidance. Close your eyes and just relax. Take a few deep breaths, relax, and ask for guidance for the day ahead. Or for the week ahead, if you don't have time to do this practice every day. And close your eyes and ask, Universe, what's an inspired action that I can do this week in my life, in my business, in my career in my relationship and just being in the receiving mode just tune into what images you see what images are popping up in your awareness what emotions do you feel do you feel uh, drawn to do a certain action or do you you know have a thought do you receive a guidance and inspiration in, in the moment and if you don't receive the guidance exactly when you do the meditation you can you know just be open to receive it throughout the day just say to the universe okay universe if you if if i don't see anything now then i am open to receive the guidance throughout the day or in my dreams you can ask for guidance before going to sleep and ask your subconscious mind i used to do this all the time like before, when I have like a problem that I don't know how to solve with my conscious mind, then I ask my subconscious mind before going to sleep, I close my eyes, I get into a short meditative state and I ask my subconscious, subconscious, can you show me in my dream, like what can I do to unblock myself or where should I travel next? For example, last last time when I was really blocked with my business and I, I couldn't, like I experienced a creative block, I couldn't create anything, I asked the universe, like, what can I do, universe, to unblock myself? And I dreamed that I was traveling. And I went traveling with my sister and I, like, we shifted our businesses 180 degrees. I unblocked myself. I changed my branding my message i tuned back into my mission and it was awesome like that's the difference you know when comparing to when we do the same things every day and we try to create a schedule and all of this comparing to asking for guidance when you're asking for guidance and you receive inspired action every day to do you you create from your soul you create from your path you become, you know, connected to your purpose in this life and you get to be more creative, to have more results, to have the job that you like, to attract the soulmate partner that you, you desire, to make the money that you want in your bank account. And you can use the same technique with asking the universe to, you know, to give you some aligned action by doing some journaling. Like taking your journal or a piece of paper or your phone and just writing, what can I do universe today to receive, uh, to take a line action in my life, in my career, in my relationship. And just allow your pen to write by itself in a way, you know, like just allow, allow the source, God, universe to uh, pour the words into the paper, into the uh, into your journal by letting the pen uh, write by itself, not trying to control it and write nicely and try consciously to make sense, but just, you know, this creative pouring of the words on the paper and you will 
totally receive guidance from your subconscious mind and the universe. And the last technique that it's one of my favorites and I use I started using lately because before I was really resistant towards religion. I'm more spiritual, but you know, praying or things like that or God, um, I didn't resonate with them. But lately, I started praying. You know, in the morning, I I connect with with this deep state of my soul, and from my soul, I'm asking like God, angels, universe, show me a sign. You know, give me a a step, give me a clue, show me. Give me an intuition, an insight about how can I evolve on all area of my life? How can I be better, uh, more spiritual? How can I feel better with my physical reality? How can I, you know, have uh, thoughts, more positive thoughts? And how can I feel more fulfilling emotions? This is my prayer that I use every day. Feel free to use the same prayer or to create your own. And I hope these uh, activities, these tools to, will help you to receive daily guidance in your life and in your business. And I cannot wait for you to share in the group which one is your favorite from what I shared. And um, if you try one of them and you receive some guidance, share with us in the group what was the guidance about.